This is my new brother in Christ, Trey Allen. Trey, is it true that you've trusted in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior? Yes, sir. It's upon this profession of faith that I baptize you, my brother, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We've been given a gift. Jesus said we've been given a 
gift from the Father, and it is power. Power in the Holy Spirit who indwells us. Power in the Holy Spirit who lives in us. And what we're seeing here in the book, in the book of Acts is the beginning of the church as we know it. Now, I don't know about you, but when I was a kid, one of my favorite things to play with was building blocks. I used to love building blocks. And I remember at my mom's house, I had building blocks. And even over at my Aunt Nancy and Uncle James's, I had building blocks. And I would, I would take those blocks and I would stack those things up as high as I could stack them to see how high I could get them before they would fall down. And my Uncle James taught me that, Jeff, you're not getting very far, son. You're not getting very far. And I would stack three or four and it'd just fall. And I could never get five or six or seven blocks on, on top of one another. And he said, it's because you're putting the wrong block on the bottom. You got to have the right block on the bottom. You got to have a good foundation. I remember my Uncle James teaching me that. I remember going home and practicing and finding that biggest block, the biggest block to put on the bottom. Because I knew if I had the, the bottom right, the foundation right, then I could put the other ones on. And what we're going to see in the book of Acts, and especially what we're going to see today, is that the foundation has already been laid. Listen, Jesus Christ is the foundation for the church. As a matter of fact, you can see it there in Scripture. Matthew chapter 16, verse 18, Peter confessed that Jesus, he's the Son of God. And, and this is what Jesus said to him when he made that confession. He said, I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock, I will build my church and the gates of Hades will not overcome it. Paul goes on and tells us in 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11, For no one can lay any foundation other than the one that has already been laid, which is Christ Jesus. See, Jesus, He is the foundation for the church. And, and as you can see, there are many other blocks. But if you don't have the foundation right, then none of the others matter. What we're going to see today... In the book of Acts is that Jesus, he's our foundation, but he's given us blocks to build upon, blocks to grow the church with. And we're going to see prayer as a key block to build upon. We're going to see scripture as a key block to build upon. And we're going to see the Holy Spirit as a key block to build upon the church advancing on the earth. God's kingdom advancing upon the earth. That's what we're going to see in the scriptures today. They were all joined together constantly in prayer, along with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brothers. In those days, Peter stood up among the believers, a group numbering about 120. And he said, brothers and sisters, the scripture had to be fulfilled in which the Holy Spirit spoke long ago through David concerning Judas, who served as a guide for those who arrested Jesus. He was one of our number and shared in our ministry. 